Hi everyone, it's Jean. Um, I have a new print and cut tutorial for you today. And it's a little different from the earlier print and cut tutorial that I, um, where I had traced a colored graphic and cut it out with my Silhouette SD. So today's tutorial, I will be using um, my Silhouette Cameo to print and cut a SVG instead. So um, I am running Windows 7 and I'll be using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. This would be version 2.2.0 and the SVG image that I'm using comes from Lettering Delight's So Snowy Stitchy um, Cut It Set. Now when I first tried to import this SVG onto the um, virtual mat, it actually didn't show. So I had to make a minor fix to it. And I'm going to have to ask that you refer to my blog post dated November the 8th. Um, if you want to take a look at um, how I uh, did the fix. Okay, so now let's start by importing that image. I just clicked on file and we have open and we will change the files of type to all files so that the um, SVG files show up. Now I have already um, made a fix to this SVG so that it imports fine onto my um, virtual mat. Now it came in at a size of 4 inches tall. Um, it is too big to be a cupcake topper if it is 4 inches. So I'm going to scale it down to about 1.5 inches. Now I first lock the aspect ratio and reduce the height from one point, from 4 inches to 1.5. I will hit enter and now it looks much better. Let's zoom in to the mat. Now the next step would be to make a shadow layer and I'm going to right click and select offset. The shadow layer is really quite big right now. So I am going to reduce the shadow width by sliding on this bar to the left so that the width is about 0 0.05. Here, I'll click apply. And um, yeah, it looks right. So at this point, if I should print this image out right now, the red outline will actually show. So I'm going to change the color to something lighter so that it doesn't quite show up once I have print and cut the image out. So I will click on this line color window and with the shadow layer selected, I will change the color to this very light gray so you can actually barely see it. So now what I'm going to do next is to, well, sort of um, make a shaped card, but um, well, it's, it's used as a topper. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I will select all by doing a control A and right click, duplicate the image and right click again to flip it vertically. I'm moving this flipped image up so that the shadow layer overlaps a little. I will do a Ctrl A again to select everything and I will click on this Align button and select Align Center in the Align window. Okay, so now it should be aligned nicely. The next thing to do will be to weld the two shadow layers together. So I select one and holding down the shift key, I will select the other, right click and weld. So now um, they are welded. So I want to make sure that the cameo will actually cut the shadow layer out. And um, I'm going to open the cut style window just to make sure. And yeah, it is indicated as no cut, so there is um, 
nothing will be cut out if I should um, send this to the silhouette now. So I'm going to select this grey um, outline or the uh, shadow layer and I'm going to change no cut to cut. And the and now the cutting path uh, is showing up in red so that means it's all good. I'm going to close this cut style window and I will zoom out because the next thing I want to do is to fill up a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and I want to make sure that when I'm filling the page up that I am not going to get into the no cut zone so I will click on the registration marks window and check the box next to show registration marks so now I know where to um, avoid uh, putting my penguins on so let's do a, a control A to select all and I'm going to move my penguins to the left now there is supposed to be a fill page button in the replicate window but I can't seem to find my fill page button for some reason I thought it was um, supposed to be there so instead I'm going to fill the page up um, in a different way so let's do a control A and I will need to replicate a uh, column of 3 and I will do a control A again and I will click on row of four so that there will be four rows of penguins and I'm going to I'm going to do that again so that now I will have eight rows and I think I can do maybe three rows you think no I think that may be too much oh it fits it looks like it fits yeah so basically at this point um, I am ready to print my page out. Now to print and cut, I will click on this button to send to silhouette. Okay. And I'm going to click print. I am using the Canon Pro 9000 Mark II um, color printer. I just wanted to remind you to check um, your printer settings and make sure that um, the page size is changed to 12 by 12 if you are printing and cutting on a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to get this printed on my Canon printer and I will be right back all right, so this is um, how the printout looks like. So you may notice that the registration marks that are printed for the Silhouette Cameo looks just a little different from that of the Silhouette SD. So for example, you will find a black square printed on the top left corner instead of an inverted L shape. Um, that is printed for the SD. Alright, so now uh, we are ready to cut. I'm clicking on continue the cutting page. I have already loaded my cardstock and the mat into the Cameo. I will click continue and I'm going to let it scan for the registration marks automatically. So I'm going to click on detect automatically. So it is scanning for the registration marks right now. And it has found all three of them. So I am ready to cut the page. All right, and there it goes.
So I will be putting a picture on my blog of how this cutout page would look like. But um, I have a picture here that I've taken of some um, some of the penguins that I've previously cut out. And I did also print out the grey outline on these cutouts, but um, it doesn't show at all. As a matter of fact, you can't even tell that the grey was ever there. And to make the cupcake topper, what I did was just to put a piece of double stick tape on one side, lay the toothpick over the sticky, and just fold down the top part. Press it down, and there is my um, cupcake topper. And I had so much fun making these, I actually went ahead and mixed some turkey cupcake toppers. Um, these turkeys are from the Lettering Delights Thanksgiving art graphic set. So for these turkeys, I actually did do the trace um, method, which I have shown in my previous print and cut tutorial that is actually for the SD, but you can do the same for the cameo as well. And this is how the turkey looks like. Alright, so that's all for today's tutorial. Um, if you want to see more pictures of the cupcake toppers, just head back to my blog under a cherry tree.com. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.